What's up, everybody? This is After Jay here. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about one of my key moments in life, my greatness, my worst, and life lessons as well. One, you, this is the first time I'm doing this, so expect it won't be a perfect video. But don't worry, it's still going to be an interesting story. Today, I'm going to talk about the time when I bought my first console, the PlayStation 2, or PS2 for short. Now, to understand how it lead up to this moment, we have to go back in time when I first saw the PS2. Now, grab your Chrono Trigger and your Time Wing, and let's go! So, I saw the PS2 on itself, and my first thought was, what the fuck is this? Hey, hey, I was living in the ghetto back then, so yes, yeah, yeah, but oh, yeah, but anyway, no, basically, when I first saw it, no, because it was a black box painted in black, so of course, my back then, my thought was like WFT, it it was crazy, and then my second thought was like, okay, but in a very awkward way, because when I saw because the if you already know the PS2 logo, it was very thin. It wasn't like the best eye catchy logo on it. Like the like the like the PS1 logo was way better than the than the second one when it comes to um logo. So it, it was kind of awkward just to see one. But back then I was a child. I I didn't know what the PlayStation 2 was. I I didn't even know if it was a console. I thought it was a DVR or VCR or cassette tape or something back then. So, so you know, I left. Next day, I went to my breakfast club. It was not. It was. It's not even a club. It was more like bus. Bus. It's not actually a club. Just a bunch of dudes hang up, they hang out, and play video games. So, yeah, whatever. Went inside, and then next thing you know, I saw Dragon Ball Z on the TV screen. I felt my eyes literally pop out because this is the f- because I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, and I already read the manga, watched the anime, so to see this on a TV on uh, and, and just. <sighs> So to see this on on a video game, it was a very great moment indeed. So so I played it and enjoyed it. Gameplay awesome, characters awesome, Waster awesome, art awesome, mechanic awesome. It, it felt like it came straight out of an anime. <laughs> it, it was a great it was a great experience. But that, but that, but that didn't make me went crazy or, or overboard. What happened next went me overboard because the next thing after I done playing it, the next thing I know was I couldn't believe what I saw in NFT TV. P S two, and that moment, and that's when I realized that the game that I was playing actually run on this system oh yeah and, and by the way the um the game the dragon ball game that was referenced to um is dragon ball takayasi 3 on on the ps2 but back then when you i didn't i didn't even know ps2 was a video game so to actually see dragon ball running on the ps2 that's when all my thought changed it went from having mixed feelings to now nah, I want this system and then th- in that moment on I start saving my money now when you when I say when I start saving my money I mean I literally start saving my money piece by piece back then I, I didn't have no job so the only way to save the money was saving it by penny by penny not dollars penny by penny Hey, the, hey, the struggle is well back when I, where I live at. 
But anyway, it, by the time I save enough money, now fast forward to now, to the moment where I finally have enough money to, to buy a PS2. And, and it's kind of funny because it took me like almost like one plus plus more years just to have enough money to buy it and it's kind of ridiculous because by the time I have enough money the price tag on the PS2 went down to like from 600 to $60 so it was crazy but I managed to f find one just for three bucks uh, at a store that looked like a junkyard it was it was, it was crazy so so I bought the slim model no cable no power cord just the system alone and two games oh, 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 of course I meant to have enough money to so I so I decided to you know buy extra quarter and uh, and all this stuff I felt like a champion at, at, at that day went home set everything up put the disc in play it and then press the start button boy my mindset completely changed it, it went like it went like completely up no no it went like brain dump and then start rebooting itself that that because the, the next thing I know when I saw 3d I went nuts. And, 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 oh yeah, and to to let you know, um, back back then, I did play video games, but most of the video games that I usually play was 2D games. Mostly because I played from web browsers and arcade cabinets. So to see 3D for the first time, it it's it's like mind blowing. Of course, nowadays. 3D is common, but back then, to me, 3D was was mind blowing. And what you? That's only just the menu of Mega Gear Solid 2. That like I only just I did I haven't even pressed the start button yet just to start the game. I was messing around with the menu, everything. <laughs> like like yeah, I felt like I was like a scientist. Invest, investigating an alien artifact I, that that's how seriously I was and then I started playing the game all right uh, of course I, no of course I want oh yeah I want Dragon Ball but they have enough money to buy it at the time but <laughs> yeah but it went but anyway Play the game, managed to finish the, f the oh yeah, in Mega Solid 2, this is the first act, and this is the second act. This pretty much two act, but I managed to finish the first one, but unable to finish the second one due to the fact that my two little brothers messed up my system, uh, bro broke it, my system. How they broke it? Put black beans inside of it. Yeah, I know. It's, and I, how they did it, I do not know. Of course, the system was working. The only problem was the 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 laser disc that read the disc that got that got messed up. All you had to do was all I had to do was replace it for a brand new one. But back then, I didn't have that I didn't have that knowledge, and I was pretty much an idiot. So my solution at that time was bring out a screwdriver and put it in, <laughs> and then hope. I hope that it actually turned out well. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I that's why I literally broke it. So I, <laughs> yeah, so I bought the second model. It's a fat one this time, not the slim one. Bought the second one. Managed to finish the second one, second act of Mega Gear Solid 2. And boy, after I done finished it, I, I, I felt completely blown away like there was no like I, I, I didn't even there was like no that process in it that could describe American solid and, and when you it was, it was it was completely unbelievable because 
I didn't know it. Uh, there was a real game that exists that can even with that for when it comes to gameplay, graphic, mechanic, e everything. And to that day, no, well, not well, to that moment, I knew that gaming wasn't going to be the same anymore. Now, now, warn you, back then, when I finally have the PS2, PS3 and Xbox 360 was was ruling the gaming industry at the time. But I, but and, and also I wasn't no fool. I knew it, and I knew it all along. But I, I didn't care. Buying the PS2 was a huge achievement, and it was money worth it because at that point I became a different person. I into a world that is different but yet at the same time is new and exciting and f and it felt adventurous like the possibility was endless I went from being an average person to, to a game freak overnight <laughs> I know it's I know it sounds crazy but yeah it's, yeah, it's true I went from being a nerd into a game hunter. <laughs> Damn, it's crazy. Uh, so I end up, so I end up buying more games, buy accessories, extra controller, more games, and and more games again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was a it was crazy but at the same time it was like one 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 of my greatest moments in my life during that time i felt like i was there alive yeah oh yeah so the the one lesson you could take out of this video is that try new try new things even if it's weird and also do not save your money and buy and put all your money into one item yeah yeah and other than that thanks for watching my videos if you enjoyed it that's great if not oh well until then i see you next time